Is freehold better than leasehold? We often hear many commenting that freehold properties are better than leasehold ones because they are long-lasting and does better returns in the long run. Some will only buy freehold with this idea in mind without the intention to keep their properties for a long time or pass it on. If you are one of them, watch this video and see if you gain another perspective. Hello, my name is Bel Tan. Let's look at some comparisons of freehold and leasehold properties. Demand for a property is dependent on several factors such as the age and the size of the development rather than the land tenure. Ultimately, demand and supply will affect the price of the property and thus its appreciation potential. The first comparison we will use is in District 11 Newton between Amaryllisville and Newton 18. Amaryllisville is a 19 years old leasehold development with 311 units on a land size of 12,000 square meter. Whereas Newton 18, located just next door, is 21 years old freehold with 81 units sitting on a land of 2,700 square meter. Both are just two years apart in age. Amaryllis has 352 profitable transactions with the highest profit reaching 1.225 million. In fact, there are 10 transactions with profits over 1 million and many transactions with profits above 500k. On the other hand, Newton 18 has 87 profitable transactions with the highest being 932k. In this scenario, the leasehold Amaryllisville outperforms the freehold Newton 18 in profitability by a good margin. In terms of capital gain and rental yield, Amaryllisville also fared better than Newton 18. In this case, size of the development matters more than the tenure. In this vicinity, where there are many small developments, bigger ones like Amaryllis with an array of facilities are short in supply, thus making them attractive. Next, let's go to District 19 to look at Terrace, a leasehold project in Aukang and the Waterline, a freehold development not far away. Nairo Liso Terrace is 30,000 square meter in land size, whereas 10 year old freehold waterline has a land size of 7,300 square meter. Terrace has 152 profitable transactions, highest was 790k, and many were more than 300k. There was only one unprofitable transaction that was negligible loss. On the other hand, Freehold the waterline has only 21 profitable transactions at much lower profits compared to Terrace and 10 unprofitable ones. This again proves that in the same location and similar age of the project, size of the development matters more than the tenure. Similar to earlier example, in terms of capital gain and rental yield, leasehold performs better. Next. Let's look at another factor that can affect profitability, newness of the development. Let's compare two projects of the same size near each other. Bishan Point is a leasehold development TOP in 2005, while nearby Flame Tree Park is a freehold project TOP in 1989. Both are of similar size, 164 units and 160 units respectively, and are highly sought after due to their proximity to a popular primary school. Bishan Point, being much newer, 18 years, has 185 profitable transactions with more than 100 of them above 200k and the highest at 1.1 million. There were 11 unprofitable ones. Comparatively, Flame Tree Park, 34 years freehold development, has only 51 transactions but with the highest profit at 1.58 million. Most of them were more than 300k gain. There were 12 unprofitable transactions. But wait, so our argument fails in this comparison. Freehold performs better than this hole? Let's do another comparison. We will take the average of the top 50 transactions, which is almost all of Flame Tree Park transactions, and see where they stand. Average profit for Bishan Point is 669k versus Flame Tree Park 578k. From here, we see that a newer 99 years project gained higher profitability on average than a freehold property doubles its age. Given that Bishan Point average PSF is lower than Flame Tree Park, but rental yield and capital gain are better, which will you buy given the choice? 
This shows that age of the development matters more than the tenure. From the above comparisons, we saw that it's not necessarily true that freehold properties are better than leasehold ones. Factors such as size and age of the development can influence that. So whether you are buying to rent out or for own stay, the rental yield and capital gains are better for leasehold properties in these cases. Are we then suggesting that we should not buy freehold properties? Stay tuned for the next video. We will see a different phenomenon for freehold and leasehold properties in different districts of Singapore. In certain districts, freehold properties can outperform leasehold ones. My name is Bel Tan. Feel free to contact me for a deeper discussion on this topic. See you in the next episode.